Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking about the uh, 6 Hz interference in, in a, a biomedical uh, uh, instrument and then uh, how to uh, model that using a f uh, function generator to produce and also produce a differential signal for uh, your, uh, your modeling uh, stage. Okay, so right now I have basically an, uh, one INA instrumentation amplifier here, AD60 model, and have set the gain to a uh, safe range of 10. Okay, and I have a function gener generator here to for my differential signal, a, an oscilloscope for signal analysis, and I put, I modeled the 60 hertz uh, interference here using uh, one volt, uh, so two volt peak to peak because it's one volt peak here. So I'll, I'll go into my common uh, common node of this uh, f function generator, and I have set the frequency, the uh, signal the frequency to 250 hertz, which is around the ECG frequency, an uh, amplitude of 10 millivolts, which is very high, um, higher than uh, what would uh, in reality uh, the signal would be so but for the purpose of just showing you guys I've just used 10 millivolts here and okay uh, and then I have my uh, offset setting which is to uh, 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 simulate the uh, the real life uh, DC offset in real life from the electro electrolyte interface of the electrodes so I set that to a conservative uh, value of 500 millivolts. It could be higher, it could be lower, but I think this is a good uh, value to start off with. Okay. So, and then another thing I want to mention is that if you want to measure a differential signal, you can use a uh, function in the electronic oscilloscope call uh, using the math menu, and you can set that to a subtraction. So you have channel one, subtraction of two, and that will show up as a differential signal. Here, seen here in red line. So, uh, let me talk about the, the uh, wiring of the oscilloscope here. I have uh, the ground connected to the, the common ground across the the, uh, the circuit. Uh, channel one goes to the positive terminal of my INA, and channel two connected to the negative terminal of my INA. And then uh, here, channel one is represented uh, by the red uh, wave. And then the uh, the turquoise <laughs> is uh, or blue uh, color is the uh, channel two, and red is the difference between those two. Okay. And over here, when you press measure on your oscilloscope, you can tell like the uh, the offset, the DC offset here is uh, 500 millivolts, as we set, and then minus 500 millivolts for the uh, for the negative terminal. If you'd like to learn more uh, how, why is this uh, so when you then you can press click on the, the uh, function generator and press F1 on your uh, keyboard and it'll tell you uh, explain a little bit more. Okay so the main the main thing I want to uh, talk about in this video is that um, the DC component can really uh, can ruin your uh, overall uh, amplifier design because if there's a substantial DC component such as 5 millivolts here which is pretty high and if you use a high gain here to, uh, you assume that using a, a high high gain in the initial stage using like a hundred gain a hundred here or even more to uh, trying to increase your SNR signal noise ratio uh, that may not actually work uh, in the real life because when you have a high DC component in, at your input, then if you're using a very large gain of 100, that will saturate your uh, output, and that's you have no chance of uh, uh, get, uh, you know process your uh, your target signal, which is much smaller uh, amplitude. Okay, so for for example, you see you have five millivolts here, and your gain is 100, and that will give you a, f a 50. Uh, a 50 volts at the output. That's way over the, uh, the 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 rail voltage here, which is 15 volts. 
and minus 15 volts here. So what you want to do is using a lower gain, uh, a safe uh, range like 10 here, and then uh, after that you can use like a high pass filter to knock out the DC uh, offset, and then you can uh, implement a much higher gain uh, uh, at the subsequent uh, stages. All right, and uh, this will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.